All right, welcome back to another Mr. Why the Music Room Guy video. Um, we're going to be focusing on our first song on the ukulele. Um, and it's only going to be using three of our chords that we know so far. Um, the chords that we're going to need to know, and remember, you can always go back and review these if you need to. Um, the chords that we're using for this song are C, A minor, and F. Now, uh, we're going to do a quick review right here just because I need to make sure we're using the right fingers because that's going to make playing a lot easier. So for the C chord, the very first chord in the song, we need to make sure that we're using our ring finger. Our ring finger, in case you forget, is the one that's next to the pinky. So we're going to play C four times, just that slow. C. Just like that. And make sure you're using your ring finger. The next thing, uh, chord we're going to be playing is A minor. And for A minor, we want to make sure we're using our middle finger. Now remember, you need to make sure that your thumb is right on the middle of the back of the neck. And you're going to be making a hook shape for A minor and all the other chords as well. But for A minor and F, you're really going to make sure you need, uh, you're going to need to make that hook shape. So we're going to play A minor with our middle finger four times. Now let's do C four times, then A minor four times. I'll count us in. Go ahead and get your C chord ready and play with me. One, two, here we go. C, A minor. Back to C. C, A minor. C, A minor. Good, that's enough of that. Now our last chord is F. Now, when we're playing F in this song, we're playing our F right after our A minor, which is going to make that chord a lot easier. Um, our F chord has two fingers. One is on the fourth floor of the second string, which is also where our A minor finger is supposed to be. So our middle finger on A minor, we're going to go ahead and we're going to leave that there. All right, and then when we play an F, we're going to take our index finger and we're going to put it on the second floor of the first building. So let's play A four times, then F once. So A minor. F, and I just move that one finger. One more time. A minor. F. Good. Now the song is going to go like this. Let's see if you can recognize it before uh, I even start trying to sing. It goes like this. That's kind of the base of it. If you can't tell yet, the song that we're going to be learning is Can't Stop the Feeling by uh, Justin Timberlake, JT himself. Uh, now the order of the chords is C four times, A minor four times, F four times, and then back to A minor, and then C, it starts over. So just listen this time, I'll say the chords out loud. It goes C, two, three, four, A minor, two, three, four, F, two, three, four, A minor, two, three, four, then back to C and it starts over. Let me do it slow, and you can try to play along if you want to. Um, you can also try just playing one chord, maybe just play the C, or maybe just play the A minor. Um, you can always rewind and play it again and change a different chord. So uh, pick whichever chord you're going to start with, and I'm going to go slow. One, two, here we go. C. Two, three, four, A minor, two, three, four, F, two, three, four, A minor, then back to C, and then it starts over, A minor, C, I'm sorry, F, A minor, now back to C, let me do it one more time because I messed up. A minor, then F, A minor, then back to C. Now go back. I want you to practice that. Maybe pick one chord. I'm going to play only the A minor chords. Once you get really good at playing one chord, maybe say, okay, I'm going to play the C and the F. Or I'm going to play the A minor and the C. I want you to do that two or three times till you feel comfortable. Now this time, I'm going to go slow again, and I want you to play all the chords, all right? We're going to go really slow. Starting on C chord, make sure you're making that good hook shape. Make sure you can hear. 
every string while you're chording them. Uh, you're strumming them, I'm sorry. Here we go, starting on the C chord. One, two, start on C. C, A minor, F, A minor. I got this feeling, C chord, inside my A minor. It goes electric F chord when I turn it A minor. All through the C chord, all through my A minor. And we're an F chord, no, 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 no. I don't know the chords, but that's an A minor. I got that sunshine in my C chord. Got that A minor in my feet. I feel that F chord in my body when I A minor. And then this next part, uh, that pre-chorus, it's different chords, so you're not going to worry about it. Um, so that's basically the song. Um, you can go and you can play along with the recording. It'll be, it'll sound good. Um, the recording does go a little bit faster than we took it. The recording goes. Can't stop the feeling. faster than we're taking it. So make sure you feel comfortable before you try playing it. But go ahead and try to play along with your uh, with the recording on YouTube or on Spotify or wherever you listen to music. Um, and then maybe uh, get your parents to try um, or play for them. I'm sure they would love that. All right, well, that was another uh, tutorial on how to do something on the ukulele, make some music, have some fun. Um, go ahead and uh, can keep practicing and keep watching some more videos um, and then can't wait to see you on the next one.